KDB. KDB is fire. KDB is fire. Stand me today. I need everybody to put your glasses on. Drop some Jamie Foxes in the chat if you ain't doing nothing else. You gonna hear from Bash today. You gonna hear from Will Steele today. Cause I tell you what, let me tell you why this day is just a little more special than the other ones. Will Steele, I'm 31 years old. <clears throat> I was born in '92. I missed all the Super Bowl shit. I kind of came in the Quincy Carter era. You know what I mean? And, and 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 I was really an adult through the Tony Romo era and all that. You know what I'm saying? I was growing up in the Tony Romo era. But I really was an analyst. I spent my analyst career in this Dak Prescott era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my whole life, my voice raised on purpose. But, and uh, my whole life, <clears throat> right, we just been fussing at the front office to kind of do this shit correctly. Y'all keep dropping flames and Jamie Foxx is in the chat. We not finished. I'm going to ask y'all how your water tastes today, too, because that's relevant. Yes. Well, we always ask the front office, right, to find some balance. Dom DeMarco. DeMarco. Yeah, we, we always been been looking for a little bit of balance, you know? We, we, we of course, don't want you to be like, fuck them pigs. You know what I mean? No, we, no, no. we can't just all in be like that, right? We can't send two first round picks for Royal Williams and shit. You know what I mean? We can't be doing shit like that. You know what I mean? But we, but we just can't be just all draft and not marrying the other two sides and all that will still. And it's like since the, the genesis of the funk, right? 
we we've gotten so accustomed to how they do things over there in the front office. It's almost like, oh well, we're not gonna marry free agency, trade, and draft together. Fuck it. Dom DeMarco. We almost got lulled into that sense of security, Will still. Y'all keep dropping flames at Jamie Foxx. We got lulled into that sense, right? So, so the definition of insanity. We, oh, y'all know the goddamn day. De- we spit in the day. Y'all know the definition. Y'all know the shit. So, so, so. We almost get into this definition of insanity, Will Still, if we was to enter the 2023 offseason thinking shit was going to be different. It'll almost be insane if we walked into the 2023 season thinking shit was going to be different. Boy. You know, it's almost like that balance is starting to be met a little bit. Will still. It's almost like, you know, we marrying the the draft and we marrying uh thirty-eight dollars deals and you know what I mean, the little the little <laughs> dollar menu deals, you know what I mean? And then, you know, throwing the draft picks out there, Will Still. But you know, but this ain't like oh, the Cowboys traded a seventh to go get Dell Worley or some shit. You know what I mean? This ain't like sorry, sorry, Dell Worley. So, sorry, my guy. Will Steel. We didn't spend this March because today's March. Y'all keep dropping them flames and Jamie fighting now and water now. Will, can you, you know, once upon a time, we woke up, Will, still in one off season and we looked at each other as cowboy fans. You know what we said, Will, still? Man, ha ha, Clinton Dick's on the way. God <laughs> damn, boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he was ready for them ha ha nicknames. That's what boy hilarious Clinton Dix was gonna be. I was just, I was ready for the puns all year, Will Steel, but they robbed me of that. But dog, we was excited. Boy, we went to go sign Dontari Poe. When Dontari Poe was fatter than he ever been. And I came on this joint excited, singing, you can have whatever you like, but I was wrong at the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? It's like we never had positive feels at the end game of all this, Will Steel. Stephen Jones says this. Well, you know, I, I feel like, you know, we had to go and line up and play it today. I mean, we can, you know, we signed Nolan Carroll to come in and play. Dom DeMarco, for, DeMarco. You know, we sign, you know, we go and get Alan Hearns, a guy that we like a lot, you know, and, you know, we'll go and get a James Washington. Dom, you know, Dom this, DeMarco, this, you know, James, DeMarco. hey, hey, you look, hey, James is just waiting on this opportunity. But most important, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll steal from A to Z Dallas. Most importantly, uh, you know, we need our own guys to just step up a little bit. I just, I, yeah. He ain't want me asking him them questions. And we just wake up one day, right? What you mean we got Stefan Gilmore for a day three pick we wasn't excited about? Dom DeMarco, DeMarco, And we just roll out the bed one day, Will Steel. And we said we, we was going to go live if like something exciting happened. Look, we was about to go live, but we got lazy. It's the weekend. We was off. We'll talk about it Monday. Brandon Cooks got signed for, for got traded for two picks. We need Dom DeMarco. 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 We'll say, what was gonna do with them picks? We was gonna sign get like a tight end and a like a one tech or something, probably. Yeah, something like that, some little nonsense like that. And Sounds I didn't even right. believe. I didn't even believe it was true. I'm gonna tell you how this different. By the way, I didn't even believe it was true. I went to Tankathon and look at my picks. Will still, and our day one and two picks were all intact. And I was like, God damn, you mean to tell me? The two biggest impediments, you know, I love the word impediment. Y'all keep dropping flames and Jamie Foxx's now. The two biggest impediments going into this offseason, Will Steele. Because January, we was like, hey, bro, Noah Brown can't be our second best receiver. All the all the corners that we threw at cornerback two, we we can't live in this world where all those cornerback twos are going to be our starting cornerback twos. And we've been so acclimated to the process, Will Steel, that we was about to get ready to go into the season with Nashawn Wright and Kelvin Joseph battling for cornerback two. We was ready for that, Will Steel. We was probably going to draft a guy, but that's what the vibes were. But we didn't throw Nolan Carroll at the at the cornerback position. We threw a dude there, Will Steel. We threw a dude there. So we're not simply saying, oh, yeah, we can play at cornerback two. Oh, we can live at cornerback two. We can survive at cornerback. Nah, man, we got a dude at cornerback two. 
And what's strange is we paying them some money, some real life money. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. So we get the news. What was it? What was it Sunday or something? On the Sunday Lord's morning. Day? morning. I was eating some uh, cereal, man. On the Lord's Day. Marcus Harrison ain't even went to church yet. It was like nine in the morning. Will still had been up for six hours at that point. You know, he, you know, he'd be up early. <laughs> he'd be up early. And I'm like, what you mean Brandon Cooks is traded to the Cowboys for a fifth and a sixth round pick? Let me tell you why this is important. And, and, and trust me, I'm going to shit on Cowboy fans later on that, that don't understand the magnitude, right? I understand DeAndre Hopkins. I love me some Nuke Hopkins. I love the idea of some Nuke Hopkins. Nuke Hopkins is probably the ideal of the four dudes that we talked about. You know what I'm saying? Cooks, OBJ, Judy, uh, Hopkins, right? He's, he's probably the, the best guy. Yeah. So it's Nuke and a second round pick. But if you mean to tell me you get a character in Brandon Cooks, who's not better than Nuke, but he's better than fucking Noah Brown and Michael Gallup. Dom the Monko, Monko. That's fair, correct? Will still uh uh Brandon Cooks better than Noah Brown and Michael Gallup, correct? One I mean, thousand uh, percent. Brandon Cooks, sure, for sure. So you mean to tell me we get a character that's better than both of them? And we still get to keep the premium picks. This was genius. Also, Will still worth noting, we spent a little money on Brandon Cooks. And I think that makes it this, this medium, right? This interesting medium because all right, Brandon cooks, you come in as a wide receiver too. Correct me when I'm wrong. Will still any old, like 16 million or something next year or something like that in 2024. Yeah. Yeah. 16.5. He would count against the cap, but it's not a guaranteed money. Right. Let me tell you the beauty of that. Because when we talk about Nuke Hopkins, we talk about Nuke in a very win-now stance. But he ain't the future now, right? If Brandon Cooks is really the Brandon Cooks that you think he is, a character that puts up great seasons with the most mediocres of quarterbacks, right? Brandon Cooks about to have the best quarterback of his entire career. If we choose to bring back Brandon Cooks for that 16 and he go crazy with Dak, that's a steal. Dom DeMarco, DeMarco, DeMarco. That's a steal. So now you have the youth, the possible of the long term, the possible of, hey, man, CD talking about some money. Fuck Brandon Cooks. Let me just say that 16 because it ain't guaranteed. Just get out of this. Right? And you have a dude. Well, still, you got a real life dude. So if we can beat the shit out of, out of, out of all these, I ain't gonna say nothing about them, about them people, man. About them, I ain't gonna say nothing. But if Dak Prescott can put forty on them people with no one them, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And we finally get some dudes, and we still have an opportunity to bring in people to make thirty eight dollars a year. You know them dollar men, you people. This ain't even the Cowboys' time yet. Will still, we've done shit earlier than we've ever done. Cowboys usually wait till week six and go on that dollar mean you and go here, sir, thirty eight dollars for this year. Here's $38 for this year. And that's when we really find our value. And then I started thinking, Will Still, man, like, what if, like, Jackson Smith and Jigba? Because you, know I mean? you know what I'm prepared to do, Will Still? You know what I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to do now that I got these two new pieces at cornerback two and wide receiver two that really fixed the biggest problems on my team in general? And, you know, there's, there's this other team that are, you know, rivalry-like, you know what I'm saying? They kind of getting a little worse. We getting a little better. Now you get to walk into the draft with a clean sheet of paper. With a clean sheet of paper, Will. And that's the kind of shit I like. We always talk about this. I'm going to give you some more credit. You never want to walk into a draft pigeonhole at one position. You never want to just walk in and be like, all right, I got to get this. If the Cowboys draft a linebacker in the first round, we... we Bravo. Why? Because you ain't got to worry about cornerback two because it's dressed already. You ain't got to worry about wide receiver two because it's dressed already. Will steal. I know there's a lot of Cowboy fans out there that's a little ungrateful because they got their mouth set for DeAndre Hopkins. Pause. Remember Harlem Knights when um, uh, Della Reese was all like, got my mouth all set for hash and eggs and ain't no hash in the cabinet. Well, I got my mouth all set for, for some orange juice and ain't nothing but a swallow in the container. Remember on Harlem Nights, Will Still? I think 
cowboy fans around the internet maybe have a weird feeling about Brandon Cooks because they had their mouth set, pause. They had their brain set for DeAndre Hopkins. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, the more film I watched on Brandon Cooks, we'll still put up a video also. I think Okoye probably working on something right about now. You got a dude that takes the top off the defense, a nuanced route runner, a smart player, West Coast friendly, because we're running this type of offense now. West Coast friendly. And he's the type of player that since he's going to be an outside player, probably a flanker type player, that's going to keep C.D. Lamb in the slot. And that probably makes C.D. Lamb even better, Will Steele. And whoever our tight end be, Travis Kelsey, uh, uh, you know, Jake Burr, whoever it is. You know what I'm saying? So this deal, this deal was just, it was way much more than, oh, I just complied. We're just going to get Brandon Cooks and move on with our life, bro. I just don't think people are well educated on Brandon Cooks. There was even some people on the social media as well. Still, I even tweeted about this. There were some people. I'll go search for my tweet. There were some people on the social media as well. Still, that was like, well, I don't want Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks is injury prone. Well, we'll still Google free. You know what I mean? So I just went to, you know, what I mean, I just went to go, you know, take a look at some Google in the past three years. I think that's relevant here. The past three years, that's year 2021 and 22, right? Brandon Cooks played 44 games. Nuke Hopkins played 35 games. Odell Beckham played 25 games. So I'm not saying that Brandon Cooks is just better than Nuke Hopkins or anything like that, but you can't play the availability card. So just in case if like if, if anybody in my chat, just somebody was like, well, Vosh, Brandon Cooks is injured guy. No, you're not. Where they come from? Where they come from? If anything, Will Steele, if I could be real, Brandon Cooks just probably was sick of playing with uh, Davis Mills, and he probably just sat out. Last year, yeah, that was definitely part of the case. He he, he quite yeah. literally did not go to a game because he was like, man, F this. Y'all didn't trade me to Dallas. Yeah, he was probably just a little disgruntled, but he ain't been hurt. So what I like about this, Will Steele, we're going to talk to you a little bit. What I love about this, and hopefully this is a sign that the Cowboys maybe are taking an all-in approach. Maybe. And trust me, Chad, we're going to talk about Brandon Cooks and Gilmore all this week and all next week, so just get ready. So just get ready. What this means to me is that once upon a time, the Cowboys say, hey, we got to move with urgency. But what that means is, like, go get Everson Griffin or something. This is a real sign. This is real evidence that the Cowboys are moving with some urgency, Will Steele. This is real-life urgency. And how do we know this? Well, because this ain't the time of year where Cowboys normally do shit. And the Cowboys are actually paying both these dudes some real money, some double-digit money. Some double-digit money. But fuck, man, finally. Finally, Will Steel. What a breath of fresh air this is, because now I get to go into this season like, hey, man, we got some guys, boy. We got some guys. Normally, you know, normally we'll go in there talking about, oh, we need boom, 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 boom. Now what we talk about, what shit, depth. Uh, we can sure use like some backup somewhere. You know what I mean? We can fix the backup Tyron Smith. Pro- like that's the conversation we're going to be having this off season because they got it done. And I'm glad that there's some type of fire under the ass of the Joneses. So if the Joneses heard us talking all that shit to them, I don't apologize, but just <laughs> shout out to y'all, boy. Shout out to y'all, boy. And even Will still, if, if this is a sign of things to come, if this is a strategy that the Cowboys use moving forward. Hey, man, let me go find a good player on a bad team. Give me a list of all the disgruntled people on bad teams right now. Hey, why don't you come over here? Well, why don't you come over here and let's talk about it? You know what I mean? I like that strategy. Now, now we're going to play this season and see what happens. But if this is a thing that we do moving forward, just a little more all in this. Yeah. Vosh rocks with it. What you got, Will, still? No, I 100% think this is this is a, an all-in approach. We talked about this uh, last week. The Cowboys didn't have to do a whole lot to be all-in because they do something that majority of the league doesn't do, and you love to say it, you know, teams suck at drafting. For sure. The Cowboys don't suck at drafting. So, in my opinion, this should have always been the way because if it, if it doesn't work, if you trade your third, fourth, fifth, sixth-round pick and it doesn't work, You've got the capital to replenish it. Hell, even if you get 
froggy, right? You trade a second or third or first. You're so good at drafting, it shouldn't hurt you, all right? If you if you need to replenish it. So, I mean, this is definitely an all-in move because they're paying these guys, like you said, ten million dollars. One of them's getting, the other one's getting twelve million dollars on the cap. This is, I don't think this has happened at this point in off season, bro. Since Leroy Glover, sure. I mean, Brandon Carr, but that's one person. But all right, maybe I'm going back too far. Leonard Davis, Marco Rivera, I remember that time he's a- a- Anthony Henry. So what? Oh four ish, oh five, oh six ish, somewhere around. It's been a long time since Dallas has. One out and got guys that cost a little bit of money. And these aren't just dudes. They're dudes. These aren't just regular guys. They're bamps, badass motherfuckers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They are so, dudes to where once you put him at cornerback too, it's not a, all right, we'll see how he does. We know Gilmore is going to be just fine. We know Brandon Cook's going to be just fine. We know this. They took two positions that quite literally were an issue in your playoff loss. Or not your playoff loss, but throughout your season, and one of them was an issue in your playoff loss. It took two positions and said, not only are we going to upgrade, but we're going to get BAMs. We're going to get dudes out there. That That's different, Botch. Like you said, that's different. We, we we hadn't seen them do that. I don't even remember, bro. I truly don't remember the last time they've done this. And I'm not talking about 2020 when they signed Gerald McCoy and Don Terry Poe. We was excited because that was the bare minimum, right? And then went out and got Everson Griffin and we throwing parties because that was the bare minimum. But, but these are guys still playing at a high level and they deserve kudos but I'm hoping this is a norm and not just an anomaly. What I really like, you know, last year we were in this um, position of where we have to rely on the rookies. You know, I understand the Cowboys draft well, and, and we typically get good rookies. But I never want to walk into a walk into a season saying, "All right, we're going to depend on Jalen Tolbert this year." So you know do. what I'm saying? Right. I don't. I don't. I don't want to walk into that season. But bringing in Brandon Cooks pushes Gallup a little bit. And that pushes Tobert a little bit. And we up here talking about, hey, guys like Simi. What's Simi? Go- hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude's in the room now. No, that's a good point. I think it sounds crazy because sometimes in life or sport, whatever, sometimes you got to take a step back, take two steps backwards to get three steps forward. Mm-hmm. Absolutely still hate the trade of Amari Cooper. But mm-hmm. I wonder if them trading Amari Cooper, coming out and admitting we effed up, Mm-hmm. Right, we we relied on ACL, Michael Gallup, and South Alabama kid. It didn't work out. While we watched our rival and we watched the rest of the league load up, and we said, "Think about this, Vosh. They came off a twelve and five season and sat on a ass. Crazy. How do you do that? James watched. <laughs> you 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 don't do that, right? So I Thank think you. they learned from a, the the Cooper trade, and b sitting on a ass. During, not say free agency, they ain't sign nobody, but there's still a period to do talent acquisition. And, and they said, we we can't do that again. We can't squander another 12 and 5 season by not getting better. Whether y'all say, oh, it's just paper, whatever. It, you could call it what you want to call it. This team is better now than they were at the end of the season. Mm-hmm. That's facts. Sure. So, you know, hopefully that translates into, you know, going deeper in the playoffs. But uh, it, it's a good sign. Like I said, I hope this is more to come. Will still keep it so don't move yet, Will still. Um, so Brandon Cooks is better than Noah Brown for sure. Yeah. Is Brandon Cooks better than healthy Michael Gallup? Yes. That should just kind of let you know where we at with this right now. Yeah. And how many more years guaranteed does Michael Gallup have on his on his contract? Well, they restructure, right? So it's nine times out of ten, he's gonna be here in 2024. Unless something crazy happens, they can move on. So at least the next two seasons, at least. If Brandon Cooks is better than healthy Michael Gallup, yep. What more? What more can I say? And I said on Twitter <clears throat> the other day, I'm moving forward in this draft as if Gallup and Tolbert doesn't exist, right? Yeah. Somebody said why? Somebody was like, "Well, why would you do that?" Vash? Well, I, I just kind of want to constantly push the 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 competition in that room. I don't just want to like just settle where I'm at because for one, Gallup may never be the Gallup that he used to be. Um, and I feel like even when Gallup was healthy, Gallup wasn't really the Gallup that he used to be. I, I mean, this, 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 you know, paying Gallup was a kind of a weird move. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's up there with the, with the Jalen Smith Zeke contracts or whatever, but, but, but paying Gallup just really ain't make sense to me. I'm sure everybody, uh, there's a, um, no, make sense. A sense that, that, that we would rather have Cooper and, and Lamb than, than Lamb and Gallup, but, um, 
I'm drafting as if Gallup and Tober don't exist. So let's just say, like, even so, 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 look, so look, draft were kind of down on um, Johnston, Quentin Johnston, wide receiver, ECU, 6'4, who's, who's different than what we have right now, right? Mm -hmm. Quentin Johnston on the board, you don't move, you don't not draft Quentin Johnston because you got Michael Gallup in my mind. You see what I'm saying? So you just keep adding to the room. And if guys like Jalen Tober got to miss out, then good. That means you're good enough. We had this problem with uh, D line last year. We had so many D linemen. We was looking at um, Basham, right? Yeah, Basham, who had played well for us, who's a cool player. But we we just can't settle for a, you're a cool player. You know what I'm saying? If you're not good enough to keep up with the dudes in this room right now, we're constantly trying to build that method so you can go yeah. right. So I'm looking at Tolbert, man. Tolbert, man, we spent this third round pick on you. Cool. But if we got so many dudes that we can cut you, that means the room looking good. So I'm, so I'm drafting Quentin Johnson and Trey Jackson. <laughs> I'm driving them up. Oh, I, don't yeah. go, I don't care nothing about Gallup. Gallup can sit down with his money. Trade see, your ass and hope somebody pay for it. Go ahead. See, you want to get to a, to this point where you're not – this is why we're advocating for free agency or trade market. You're not relying on 20 draft picks over a two-year span to make a difference on your team. Hear me out. Maybe four or five of those dudes, right? Maybe. Cowboys had 11 picks in 2020. 2021, I'm sorry. I believe nine picks prior to all these trades in 2023 drafts. So I actually got that backwards. 2022, now 2023. That's, that's 20 picks, Watch. Mm -hmm. If your team is that good, there's no way 20 people should make the roster. Sure. Right? There's no way. And last year, all 11 of those picks made the roster, Vach. They didn't trade up. They didn't trade down in the draft. They didn't trade them for a, a Stephon Gilmore or Brandon Cooks. Had they won into the season, saying we're going to draft all nine again, and you, and you say all nine make the team, that doesn't make me feel good. That means that there's guys on that roster that couldn't beat out rookies. Mm. I don't like that. If mm. I'm drafting nine players... I'd be happy if only four or five of them dudes made the team because your roster's so stacked. Sure. But sure. we had to rely on a Deron Bland who we, blessing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, a shoulder injury with well, Let's Go. Devin Harper, we hope he does something. You know, he makes the team. All these day three dudes have to make the team for fifth round pick, sixth round pick, seventh round pick, make the team because, hey, we're drafting develop. We don't want to move off these picks. You can't think like that. Yeah. You need veterans quality veterans to help level out that balance or level out that playing field because Fox, you know this rookies take time yep you, you okay you you think michael parsons is going to come in here every year then, then you be my guest but but most draft classes have D dorrance armstrongs mm -hmm. <laughs> you know year four they finally they finally show something mm -hmm. you're not going to get a michael or a trayvon Diggs every time so you need these quality veterans to level that out um, K Kenny in the chat says, uh, I lost his comment, but he says something along the lines of Michael Gallup's going to show up and he's going to be just fine. He's going to tear shit up. Whatever he said. Awesome. Hey, perfect. Per perfect. You know what I'm saying? And, and that kind of goes with it. That goes with it also, right? Michael Gallup, if you can come in and compete with Brandon Cooks and Jalen Toe, to be honest, if you can come in and compete with these guys and win, that's a good thing for the team. That's a good thing for the team. We're not necessarily throwing away Gallup and Tolbert. And I kind of like, um, there, you know, there was this comment, uh, this uh, quote that came out. Steven said it, Will McClay said it, one of them said it. But there was like, we're relying on Gallup to get healthy and Tolbert to, to get better for year two because we're going to be relying heavily on them. I think that can be true and they was in the wide receiver market. I think people took that quote and says, oh, well, well, we're just going to be rolling with, with Lamb, Gallup, and Tolbert. I don't think that's the case. I think if you got a lamb and new wide receiver too, so Brandon Cooks now, you got a lamb and wire and um and um cooks now, then you add Gallup is healthy. Then you add oh Tober, so Tober's not lining up all sides and shit. You know what I'm saying? You just add those things, get now you got four dudes. I that think you can roll with. I think it's fair to to when you said that for cowboy fans to, to kind of turn their face upside down because that's kind of how they've been operating. But sure. you already showed your hand because you was trying to trade for Cooks in the season. You inquired about Jerry Judy. You 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 wanted Odell Beckham. You already told us. You came out in, in the season and said, "Yeah, we 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 dropped the ball on that one." Gallup wasn't quite ready. So you you told us that you were in a wide receiver market. 
So I didn't believe them. We're like, yeah, we're just going to rely on Michael Gallup and Toto. No, you're not. No, you're not. And boom, Brandon Cooks is here. So at this point, Will still. And of course, all this is important because the draft is coming. Well, I just love, let me cut the music. Let me say this shit in Silencio. I just love the idea that we fixed our two biggest problems. Yeah. With, with dudes. And we get to walk in the draft and just draft as if nothing happened. We just get to draft as if we ain't even give them picks up. Let me let me just go to Tankathon real fast, see what we working with. Bro, Tankathon. Let me just walk, let me just walk in Tankathon real fast and click on Cowboys real fast, bro. Because we already know Cowboys get busy in the draft. So you just just think about, and I've said this before, but you know, we got, you know, 1,300 people watching live or something like that. You know what I mean? Something like that. I've said it before, Will Steele, but when Stephen Jones used to say, oh, man, we can line up and play today, you know what I'm saying? That was line up and play with Jordan Lewis as a gadget guy. You know what I mean? That was line up and play with Nolan Carroll. That was, that, that was definitely line up and play. I sincerely feel like Will Steele. If we line up today, you know what I'm saying? With Gilmore at cornerback two, with Cooks at wide receiver two, if we line up as of today, I think we're a much better team than we than we were last year, right? Because I always talk about, like, we don't need that many superstars because we got them already. We need right. complementary pieces of role players, right? We need, oh, well, if Diggs going to be a superstar over there, we just need this side to not just be trash. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, we're going against the best defense in the league. CD getting busy. We just need our tight end to not – run backwards out of bounds or you know what I'm saying? We just need Noah Brown to not be the second best. Like we fixed the, 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 the star guys. We just need better complimentary pieces. Well, we can, we, we can walk into this season. If nothing else happens, if we don't do another thing, we'll be a better team than we were last year. I know there's a lot of people saying, well, Vash, what about like backup tackle or something? Vash, what about, um, you know, one tech and things of that nature. Sure, that's a depth conversation. You know what I mean? We can add depth. We can add pieces to get better at some point. But 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 the grand scheme of things, your biggest impediment was cornerback two and wide receiver two, and you fixed those. We're a better team right this. When was the last time have we said that, Will Steele? We're a better team as of March 20th. Right. Early. We ain't even got the we ain't got to the dollar menu dudes yet. We ain't got to the draft to the to the draft yet, Will Steele. When have we early in the early in the offseason? When have we been able to say, oh, we're better now than we were last year? Without having to say we're better now than last year because the year two or three guys are going to be better. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We better. We're better oh, because better. we got better players. We got better dudes. Our guys are gonna get better again. Cause Osa towards the end of the season was learning. He was learning that goddamn. Osa was learning them at the end of the. You know what I'm saying? Tyler gonna come back on some on some peanut butter. Oof. Let me Don Demarco that shit. Don Demarco. Sam Williams gonna come back. Probably gonna be a starter for you. Probably gonna start over over Dorrance. Never know. We could take this team right now, Will Steel. But then, hey, let's go to the thirty eight dollar crew, and that's probably where you want tech gonna gonna come from. You're probably gonna sign another pass rusher from the from the from the thirty eight dollar crew. I wouldn't be surprised, Will Steele, if I can keep it funky with you. Let's talk. I'm gonna leave his music off. What are we doing about Turpin? Can I get you? Can I offer you a a a better player with kick and punt with with kick and punt return ability and just move on from Turpin? Because Turpin is a special teams guy, but he's in the wide receiver room. We just added a dude to the wide receiver room. So now I'm at the point we'll still just, just, just to set this up a little bit more. I'm trying to cut the fat at the bottom of the roster too. Now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we like by us adding Gilmore, yes, he's a one year guy, but that means something for somebody, right? Adding Brandon cooks. That means something for somebody. When we draft all eight of these new dudes, something happens somewhere. Brandon cooks is here. Let's just say we draft Quentin Johnson. Let's say we draft Jackson and Jigba. Something happens it is whether it's semi, it's some, you know what I mean? So when I ask you that, the first thing that popped up in my mind, man, Tober really ain't giving me nothing. I mean, not, not Tober, um, Turpin. Turpin, Turpin. Yeah. Turpin ain't giving me nothing. 
Turbin been fair catching. Tobert been not wide receivering. Tobert got killed on the last play of the game. And every time Tobert get 10 yards on a kick return, he jump up and go, like he almost got a touchdown. No, he did. No, he did. Can we get better there, Will, Will Steele? Can we, can we find somebody else to just catch kicks and punts and actually upgrade some in real life? Because that's what I'm looking at now. I'm all for competition. I don't believe yep. Turpin should be slotted in to make the roster without competing for it. And th- thank you, Will. You you way smarter than me, Chad. Flames because for Will Steele, he way and he say shit better than me. That's what I'm saying, Will Steele. The dudes like CJ Goodwin should be the only dude that's on the roster doing nothing, right? But but just gunning and shit. But everybody else, no stone unturned, Will Steele. Yeah. No stone unturned, and this is important because that's the territory of the dollar menu and draft dudes. Right? Because Gilmore not not playing kicking teams. Brandon Cooks ain't playing special teams nowhere. Right? So when we talk about the, hey, let me get this pass run for 30. Oh, let me sign this linebacker. Chad, there will be a linebacker somewhere. Whether we whether we spend some on them, I'm 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 thinking that we're done trading Will still. So whether we spend $38 or whether we draft one, a linebacker coming somewhere. Does that move somebody? I want to get Turpin up out of here because Turpin hasn't done nothing for me, Will Still. He hasn't done nothing. And I know that add another receiver going to push somebody around, and I would rather have the – I kind of trust Simi's wide receiver ability over the, well, I'm just going to keep waiting for Turpin to give me a touchdown on kick return. Any game now. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Because if anything happens to one of your wide receivers, which wide receiver going in next, Simi or Turpin? It's going to be Simi. And we just waiting on Turbin to do that shit he did in the preseason. Boy, we waited all year. That shit never, it, 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 it never happened. It's false. It never happened. No way. Not this time. It never happened. We created it. Not this time. No. What you got, Will? We got to see what happens at, at, at camp because, you know, we heard that Turpin asked and requested to, to be more involved in the offense. And we know that this isn't going to be the same exact offense, right? And, and usually this offense helps out the receivers. Uh, and it's, it's, it's yak friendly. Um, so when we get to camp, and this is something I was thinking about as you were talking. And I don't know if you were, if you can recall this. The two positions we just attacked, which is beautiful, cornerback, mm-hmm. wide receiver. Yes, sir. Thinking back, man, the best you can, did it seem like there was a, a comfort level at those positions because of how scarce they, they kind of were? Not say scarce. I mean, you had, the, you, you had the big three at corner. But after that... It, People, you know, there, there was a kind of this. I was I was watching it, and I'm saying this specifically because I was talking and chatting up with Nation Wright, and I'm just like, bro, you kind of you a bit too comfortable, <laughs> to, to, like you making this roster, which I tell you why. there wasn't a whole lot of depth, and that's just corner. So I go to receivers, other side, which was even more comfortability, right? Because we knew that no more, more Mark Cooper, we know that Michael Gallup wasn't going to be here. So you had dudes like you know Dennis Houston who fought well and. Jalen Tober, who was struggling a bit, Semi, and, and all these guys were com- it's comfortable. I'm comfortable yeah. because I know I'm making this team. I tell you I why. I can't do that no more. I tell you why. Yes, you are right. One, because at cornerback two, Kelvin Joseph is not the dude that we thought it was going to be. That's the big problem, right? So we was in this world where, hey, Anthony Brown going to be starting again, but everybody was like, Ah, boy, Kev, we just give you every opportunity, boy. Just and he could, he was like, the, and people think I'm joking. I'm not joking. He was like the sixth best cornerback at camp. Yep. And look, Will, we look, we was doing the show. We was like, hey, look, Anthony Brown ain't even going crazy. He ain't even nice for real, for real. It's just that he was cool last mm-hmm. year, and Kelvin just ain't taking it. We we looking for Nation to do something, and then Nation go get smoked. <laughs> so so yeah, th- th- there was no security at the cornerback. Deron Bland did well, but shit, it's him and Diggs. Him and Diggs. And as far as wide receiver, Will said, man, we talking about T.J. Basher making the team. You know what I mean? T.J. Va- T.J. Basher competing. T.J. Va- bro, yeah. I remember that. You know yep. I don't want Vasher to be in the conversation. Fam, I was saying, and, and, and I'll still stand on it. I was saying that Simi was looking like your second, third best receiver on the team in camp. Uh-huh. You know, Noah Brown got all the all the love, but, but Simi was just as, in my opinion, just as clutch. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's not going to be the case anymore. That's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah. And, and 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 honestly, maybe we had too much hope in 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 Gallup coming back. But man, outside of Gallup, man, it was Sedarian Lamb, and that was it. So sure, 
we've had question marks since the last since this time last year. We've had question marks about receiving cornerback. Yeah. And now when you flip it to this year, Jalen Tober sweating. Semi sweating. You know, ain't even no Vasher on his team no more. Dennis Houston is an afterthought. Yeah. You know, Dennis, so these guys are gonna have to come and bring it. And not just bring it by doing ordinary things. How many times, Vosh, we kept hearing, the, and look, this is no knock on Mr. Houston and his family and, and all that stuff. How the fuck, man, is Houston? <laughs> it's I, versus Tampa Bay. He wide <laughs> receiver two versus Tampa Bay. Hey, roll that much. Hey, man, we're going to roll man. Dennis Houston out there. I what? Couldn't, I couldn't believe the, the, the hype. And I'm like, in my eyes, lying, the dude is just doing regular things here. But it it's ain't because enough stairs. To to damn say Dennis Houston stepped up that damn much he did, he to be wide receiver two versus town. He, he didn't. Oh. It was just how scarce the position was and the standards of what we were looking at. Not the case, you know. You go into the season healthy with your big three, you know, or, or four, whatever you want to call that wide receiver. Dare I say I ain't done? I, I mean, not even just draft wise. I mean. Go get some little $38 specialty dudes, like you said, to bring competition in for the Turpins of the world. BM says, Turpin signed cheap, gave us good field position on punt returns, uh, made the Pro Bowl. Well, that Pro Bowl was ridiculous, but look. One MVP and something that's not the National Football League. And he wasn't used right on offense. Let me tell you something. Well, just let me ask you this, Will Steele. In context of this offense, what is Turpin going to do that Brandon Cooks won't? Oh, we can't compare him to Cooks. He don't got nothing on, on that man. But what, what, I, what I think what we're saying, sir, whoever that was, is that you need to bring in competition for Turpin. Like, Turpin shouldn't be guaranteed nothing uh, because he, I mean, we're being quite frank, man, he fizzled out from a special teams standpoint. Fizzled out. He dropped two costly punts in games that, I mean, that, that helped flip the games. Yep. You know? And then he had a easy touchdown. I don't know what he was seeing in the biggest game of the year in the playoffs, mm. and uh, it didn't work out. So, look, I'm just saying bring in competition, and I think that'll push Turpin offensively. Mm -hmm. That's all. L says, I hate Turpin. Not that I hate Turpin. Just when we talk about Turpin just being a dude on this team, right? Oh, well, shit, man. Vosh, maybe like Mike McCarthy used Turpin better than Kellen Moore did. That could be a thing. But how about Mike McCarthy just use a dude that's better than Turpin? How about that? How about we just turn over every stone? We are in a division with a team that had the best D-line in football, Will Steele. They drafted the best one-tech in football, Will Steele. And in the middle of the season, when that shit wasn't enough, they 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 went and signed two more three hundred pound people. Will still, that's the shit I'm talking about. Yeah, I see the vision now. I ain't giving them boys. I don't like giving them boys positivity and credit. Boy, they they open my eyes. Will still, I shit like boy. I see. You know what I'm saying? Shit, same. I see now. Will still, maybe because it's in our division. But what you think the Rams did? The sure. Rams already had a squad. They said we gonna go get Odell Beckham. We gonna go. We gonna go get Von Miller in season. Mm. Mm. You know, and and I and I wonder, and it's so funny that Jerry brought those two teams up, right? He brought up the Rams, brought up the Eagles. Not saying you're making the exact moves, but you are starting to enter in that arena, right? Where uh, look, we we can't be waiting till week nine, week eight to to decide we want to attack a position that is clearly and obviously a need. It's been a need for months. Yep. So kudos to them. The Eagles drafted three receivers. Like it was like High Tower, Watkins, and Smith or whatever, right? They didn't just sit around and go, "Oh, we're good at receiving. We, we drafted these guys. They got to step up." Man, they moved that third. They went and go got a dude, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. It ain't about Turpin. It's not about Turpin. But everybody got to bring something to the table now. Why? Because we're going against teams where where they got, bro. The team just won a Super Bowl. Just upgraded left tackle, bro. <laughs> and uh, who they get? They got a they get safety. I cannot remember the safety they got, but it was a damn good safety. Yeah, so they're not done either. Yeah, exactly. That's a perfect another example. Just won the Super Bowl and they're not satisfied. Don't 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 tell me nothing about old Vice. He good enough and Mike McCarthy will use him better. Mike McCarthy used better dudes, man. Will, did you have anything before we go to the phone, man? Just any final thoughts about how fantastic this signing is for us? Any, you know, just anything? 
fantastic signing uh, or fantastic trade, two trades, Great. by the way. And, and I just, look, don't be done. That's all. Still, still work to do, and I'm sure we'll get to that throughout the week, but there's still work for the Cowboys to do to put themselves in position early uh, as opposed to late prior to the season. Boy, anybody we draft and sign for thirty eight dollars, just a cherry on top. Uh, we we had about fifteen hundred live. By the way. Just, 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 appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, how long have we been talking? I've been talking for uh, about thirty minutes. Cool, that, cool. That's enough. That's enough for me. All right, we got some people on the phone here. Let's lock this. The conference up. has been locked. It's about to be four o'clock. We'll lock this thing up. Los was on here early, so we gotta let let uh, let Los go first. What's up, Los? Yo, good afternoon, Vach. Good afternoon, uh, Sky, man. I hope you're having a great, great afternoon. I, I know when that trade trade hit, Vach, I know your your timeline was off the chart, I bet. So I'm just leave, going to leave it like this, Vach. Mm. I mean, we already know what Brandon Cooks is all about, right? I mean, he he he. you put him in space, and he catches the ball, and you give him space. I mean, hey. He, he can be a home run threat just like Tony Pollard. Mm. And you make this offense more explosive than what it is. I mean, hey, you, offense, I, I don't think our offense, we don't have too much to worry about as we did last week. And that's huge dividends to what the Jones family did. And like I told Skywalker the joke, I mean, Jesus probably showed up to the Jones dream and probably gave him the idea. But I don't know what happened with, with that. But thank God. They finally made a move, right? Mm. And I'm gonna give you my my dream mock draft, Vosh, because I trust your advice I, and I trust you and Sky the most. And I just want your opinion, right? And this goes to the low line as well. So my dream mock draft would be the Juan Jones with the first round, mm. Siaka, Siaka, Yaka, I, I, I don't know how to say his name. Siaka, Ica, Baylor D Siaka, Baylor, Ica. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Second round, and then with the third round. Pick, pick, pick up Tank Bigsby, and I think Auburn. you make you pick those three round. You know, you pick those three dudes, man. You're set. And the only reason I say DeJuan Jones is, I guess Sky convinced me is, I guess Steel has to earn his. You know, he, you know, he's a solid right tackle. But my question is, who's going to be on the left side sure. when uh, Tyron Smith gets hurt? Because it's not when, it's how or when. You know, correct and. I just want to solidify the O line more. You tell me your thoughts on on that watch. Peace out. Um, appreciate you, sir. Uh, Dewan Jones is 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 one is one of my favorite offensive linemen. He's actually tackled one for me. Um, so sure, I'll take that. Uh, I don't know if he could play left side or not. Yeah, that was it, my it, question for you. I mean, y'all had to go to his interviews and go to his pro days and his workouts and things like that, and they'll tell you. But uh, if he was to if he was to be here, he'll definitely have to bump over to the uh, to the left side. So, um, but huge fan of his, um, Skaki Ika, uh, one tech from Baylor, big boy. I know Cowboy fans want to want to um, want a big boy in the middle, but I think that's gonna come on the on the um, dollar menu weeks. So, hang around for that. But cool player, I like him. Second round, that's fine. And um, Tank Bigsby, running back from Auburn, another good pick. Also, too, man, if y'all out there on the Twitter social media streets, man, y'all gotta stop talking to talking to B. John Robinson like he like he played punter or something, bro. Like that, <laughs> like it's it's only so much position value yeah. that you can that, that that you can be like, nah, I'm good. I think people really overthinking this whole this whole B. John thing. Yeah, but Vach, man, uh, I don't want him to be like like we just did this with Zeke. We just did this with Zeke. All right, cool. Draft Bijan, be good for four or five years, and don't re-sign him. That's the problem. That's a mistake with Zeke. You re you 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 gave him you gave him more years and more money. That's the problem. But the first five years of Bijan, shit, me. I'm talking about if he there at twenty six, I ain't drafting. Boy, y'all ain't watch no film. <laughs> y'all ain't watch no goddamn film. Yeah. Um. Will Steele, can I hit the uh, the um, breaking news button, sir? Gotcha. Actually, Cowboys just Cowboys got a got a brand new interior D lineman. Did you see that, Will Still? I want it. Uh, the Cowboys have a brand new interior D lineman. Isaac got a cut. Will Still, you see that shit, man? They say, hey man, look, we don't know what he's doing now. Look, 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 man, look, man, look, man. Solari came in and said, nah, nah, go ahead. And now that boy playing one tech, Will Still. Hey, I, I tweeted out 
Is this our nose tackle too? <laughs> no, sir. 6'7", 320 pounds. Uh, this will be fun to see at camp. It'll be interesting, huh, Will Stills? What I did want to ask you seriously, though, give us a little talking news before we get back to the phones. There was this, this little graphic that came out last year towards the end of the season or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it was basically um, these Cowboys offensive players, positive, negative efficiency per get the ball. You know, one of them weird little metrics, you know, like when CD get the ball, the EPA. damn chart went down here because he good, right? Yeah, I think I still got that graphic. Keep talking. Oh, and Jake Ferguson get it. He real good. So the chart way down there. Uh-huh. You know, the dudes that, that was either zero or negative on that chart, we've heard nothing about them coming back, right? And those dudes were Schultz, Zeke, and Noah Brown. Those dudes were zero to negative. You think the Cowboys, you know, like maybe not saw that graphic because, you know, Twitter graphics are like for the fans and shit like that. But do you think somebody in the analytics department, right, that was like, hey, man, CD, they, there you go, Will, so CD was way up here. Jake Ferguson's, you know what I'm saying? But we like we gonna resign Tony Pollard because he up here. Malik Davis is gonna be running back too because he right here. But Zeke, <laughs> Dennis Houston, Dalton Schultz, you know what I mean? Noah Brown, they not helping you. Do you think that is something too? Because I think even if you even if you bring back Dalton Schultz for cheap, I, I I just think they out on on Schultz in general. You know what I'm saying? And there is an analytics department. Uh, McCarthy talks about analytics. But brother, you ain't need to see no goddamn analytics to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw the ball to Ezekiel Elliott. Who, Dennis Houston, Dennis Hugh, who, Houston. <laughs> Dalton Schultz was three yards of the cloud of dust for 2022. He was a hurt guy for a little bit with his knee, so he wasn't getting you some yak. Yeah, you know, Gallup wasn't Gallup. I don't even know why we even discussed Tobert and the Houstons and the Turpins of the world. They weren't getting the ball. James yeah. Washington had quite literally one. Boy, he had one shot, one opportunity. Yeah. He was mom spaghetti, boy. He yeah. dropped that mom. And then you go look and say, oh, Malik oh, Davis man. touched the rock, whether it was in the past or run. He was pretty. Tony Pollard, oh, well, yeah, he was all right. Jake Ferguson had like 1,000% yeah. of his yards in the act. Yeah. Man, T.Y. Hilton, it was pretty productive. And it's C.D. Lamb, yeah. So you it's ain't it's need it's analytics it's to see this shit here. But there is <laughs> analytics. should need a whole nother sheet of paper right. to get it. <laughs> Hell, boy. Yeah. Damn. Fantastic. But I I just I just love the idea that we cutting the fat wheel still. We just we just cutting the fat. I've heard nothing about Dalton Schultz. And you know what? I think even if Dalton Schultz even even if his prices was low, like if his price was low, I just think the Cowboys out on the I think the Cowboys just trying to improve the position. Yeah, I just heard that uh no how real it is, whatever. He was offered a three year thirty six million dollar deal. And, and that's the deal that he turned down from the Cowboys to test the market. Mm. And uh, as we just saw, Mike Jacecki mm. got like a $4 million deal by the Patriots. So, And you know what? Steve and Jones so trifling. Steve and Jones so shysty. If if uh, Dalton go back to Steve and say, hey, man, look, I tested the market. Can I get that uh, three years, 30? Steve going to be like, Shh. no. Shit. What 30? <laughs> $38? <What? laughs> you want your 38 <laughs> I'm going go from 30 what? million to 28 dollars. What? 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 I need to hear it. I need to hear it, boy. You played yourself, boy. You should have had uh Tony Dude, uh Tony Pollard agent or something. Had you him. think they're gonna resign him though? Seeing that the Schultz? Yeah. I think we out on Schultz. I man, look, I uh, maybe I'm wrong here, but I just think you got what you need in Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Jake from State Farm, he cool. Yeah, and I don't even think that this is a I, – I, I just don't even think – I think the whole Cowboys looking at tight end to in the draft, I think that's a bit overblown. I think, yeah, yeah. tight – I think Cowboys looking at tight ends, but drafting them where Cowboys normally draft tight ends. I don't I don't see – I just don't see don't, the first-round appeal. I don't. Not 26, man. Nah, Cowboys don't do that. I don't see unless, it's, unless it's tight end one, Darnell Wright, because you ain't got nobody like him. Fam, when mm-hmm. Travis Kelsey, arguably the greatest tight end of all time. Mm-hmm. Top three, five, whatever. It doesn't matter. He's going to Hall of Fame. Yeah. Says this kid in Dallas, Jake Ferguson. Yeah. Is like that. 
You ain't got you Scott you can say, it, but you don't care. But you gotta listen to what that guy says. You gotta listen to. Y'all want to spend the first round pick in the, in the draft when one of the greatest of all time says he like that. You gotta listen uh, to. Him. Okay, all right, cool, whatever. Do what you want to do. If Bill Belichick sees a coach and says, "You know what? He coached like me." Give him a shot. <laughs> give, give him a chance. It would behoove you to not. All right, let's get back to the phones, man. That was a good Will still. Let's get Reek on the phone. Hear from him. What's up, Reek? Reek? Oh, no. What? Reek going one time. It's 4 7. Reek going two times. We metal gear salad, Reek. Go ahead, Snake. Oh, Snake. <sighs> the shot at the end always kills me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Hey, man, how's it going? What's good with you, my guy? What you how's got for water? Man, my water's so fantastic. It is so cool and refreshing. From the waters of Lake Minnetonka, then Prince gonna be like, that ain't Lake Minnetonka, but it did, did natural taste like it. But shit, we good to go. Hey, Steven, turn my water into wine with that trick. Sure did. But go ahead, though, Matt. What you got for the hey, show, dude. man? What's good with you, bro? I'm doing good, man. Um, so I was thinking, um, so last year we saw, we actually saw um, them put a safety guy. Ah, uh, shoot, what was his name? This, uh, Curse, Hooker. Man, drafted in the same class. Israel. As, uh, no, same class as uh, Nisha, uh, yeah, Israel. Israel yeah, McCormick. Israel McCormick. We saw him get put into the, the slot last year and play big nickel. Uh, so my question is, do you think there's ever a situation, you know, if we're up like 10 points where we could do like a big dime situation where like, you know, we have Doomsday front, then we have Israel and J-Rock on the outsides, like kind of interchanging between who plays the, the big, the big uh, dime position. I think big dime think would just, we could do? I think big dime would just or be purposeful. I think Big Dime would just per you would just purposely be be putting worse worse dudes on the field because if it's two tight ends on the field, then just put your linebackers out there because then they may try to run the football on you. You know what I'm saying? So Big yeah. Nickel is a thing that exists, but that's for like tight ends and big slots. Um, if somebody lines up to make you play a Big Dime, it had to be a two tight end package. If that's the case, just leave your linebackers out there, or just or just okay. or just play Big Nickel. Yeah, I do think it, it depends on the. The person personnel that going against, yeah. yeah, man. If you're going, if, if they're going five wide, four wide, you you want to put four corners out there, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and, and and maybe that includes, depending on the matchup, Jay Lou instead of yeah. Izzy. If Izzy's going up against a Godwin, sure. But if yeah. there's a uh, Tony, you you, you want to get a, a a more quicker twitch type guy. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I was thinking about. Like a big, because a lot of teams are doing big slot things nowadays. So sure, I was like, that might be a thing where. Because I mean, I I understand that we have just so much depth right now. It's it's wild. Like Israel's what our third. He's our what third strong safety. He's just a dude. Our second. He's, he's just a dude. He's third every, safety, he's and it feel like he's better than your yeah, second round pick he's corner. Our, he's yeah. depth everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, he just everything. Yeah. Good call, to Matt. Appreciate yeah. you. And also too, though, Will. St- yes, sir. Also too, Will. Still, just to be fair. Like Cowboys ain't got small corners, so it's always big dime. It's always it's it's just whether it's big nickel or not is is whether JK or Bland playing in that one spot. But everybody's tall and long for the I, most part. I'll tell you this, man. I am excited to see what Dan Quinn has up his sleeve for Izzy. I don't think there's a chance in hell he just sits the bench ninety six oh, percent of the again. snaps anymore. No, no, no. Um right. and I know we're excited, right, to get back the three headed monster and, and Dono, uh Curse and Hooker. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I wonder though. You know, I, I love Donovan Wilson, but if he's not in a lineup where he's at the line of scrimmage, I wonder if they say we'll give a shot at at Izzy to do some coverage things because that boy looked so much more confident than he looked in his rookie year, man. And I don't think I want to let a six four pterodactyl just just ride the pine. You know what I'm saying? I would sure. I would do a little bit more interchanging uh, with those safeties and, and or corners if it if you're in that matchup, a Godwin type matchup, but. Dan sure. Quinn has improved year over year, and I think he'll, he's going to use some of these guys like Israel McCormick this year. For sure. Uh, I haven't heard from D-Shift in a while. What's up, D-Shift? 
What's good, Vach? What's good, Sky? Cool and player. Yo, yo. Yep. Sure. Uh, man. Uh, like I just, man, the, the first question I'd ask anybody who complains, I was asking other people, y'all want uh, y'all want Cooks and Gilmore or the Brown Brothers? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> the Brown Brothers. That's the Brown Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> Give me a high five. Go ahead, go ahead, Disha. Let's go. Yeah, man. Cause uh, like I was telling them, man, uh, those guys, man, they lost you by four games last year. Right so there. like you not you Christian Watkins ain't about to get loose, you know. Mm. Um, Zay Jones, you know, you can cut that shit out. Yeah. So um, I mean, when you talk about solidifying certain holes, cause like yeah, man, last year I found myself trying to convince myself like. Yeah, yeah, this team gonna be good. We all right. But now it's like shit. I don't. I, don't, I ain't gonna talk to you. You ain't gotta convince yourself. So. Uh, man, and also shout out to the Eagles uh, for losing uh CJ uh, Gardner Johnson for what we paid Donovan Wilson. Mm. That's pretty funny. Mm. He pulled the Dalton Schultz. Uh, he thought he was getting more. I, it ain't work out. Uh, yeah. You know, other teams kind of losing stuff. Um, we're getting better, but like I'm just with Scott with the same thing, man. Don't stop. You know, y'all get no pats on the backs from us. We'll give you a little flowers, but mm. you, don't, you don't get big flowers yet. Yeah. Just a little flowers. A little dandelion. Yeah. Uh, little white shit that grow. You know, kids come pick for you. And uh, I'm picking out the shit out the, out, out the front yard here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Some little shits, right? Yeah. But that's what you I want got. me to tell you did a good job? <laughs> <laughs> Keep yeah, up yeah. the good work. <laughs> Appreciate you, Nisha. Hey, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no, I gotta find that drop, you know, because people was like, "Oh, front office, what you want me to tell you? You did a good job. <laughs> Keep up the good work. You want a? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. You better get yours. Damn, boy, Bernie Mac, man. <laughs> Damn, rest peace, Bernie Mac. Uh, I, I take some shit off air. Yeah, go ahead. I do think it's think it's it's uh, <laughs> it ain't funny, whatever. But but you know, the guys that are gambling on themselves, they ain't, they ain't been winning. They ain't been winning. No. You know you know, Who the hell are their agents, though? Is what I want to know. They losing the money. They probably they, they gonna get fired soon. Whoever it is. Well, I mean, meanwhile, Laramie Tones is just out here just ragging it all up with no agent. But hey, man, you might have to just like take your money sometime, bro. But like thinking that you more than what you really like, like this ain't the market for that, man. This and, and especially at tight end and safety, ain't no market for that. Ain't like you a pass rusher or something. Fam, you it, it, right. Like, how you not you're not Jesse Bates. You're not. Justin Simmons, you're not Travis Kelsey, and you're not George Kittle. Right, you're a Dalton Schultz. Boy, maybe the Cowboys got lucky that Dalton Schultz thought he was him. Mm. And it, mm, mm, so, like, he thought he was him. So instead of us getting rid of, he just gets rid of himself. Rid of himself. And himself. Th- Leaving three million thirty six. How dare you? All right. Well, now look, <laughs> you right. lucky to get five. Right. <laughs> What's up, Jared? Yo, Vach, how's it going? Cool, my guy. What you got for the show? Hey, can I start by just saying, I've been meaning to tell you, that Dragon Ball poster behind you is fire. Appreciate you, my guy. Salute. Appreciate you. I got another right. one right up under that one, too. It's right there. So appreciate you, my guy. Salute. Yeah, they do have some good art, man. Anime. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's sick. Um, I, got, I think that these trades get me hyped because of one thing. And that one thing is that that number one overall, or that number one uh, First round, round one draft pick we got, mm-hmm. 26 overall, I think with the moves we made, am I wrong in thinking we can take any position barring quarterback? Sure. I don't hate it. I don't hate and it at all. be hype about it. 100%. Um, you know who I think is really not getting enough talk for the Cowboys? Who's that? Because I genuinely think Bijan will probably be gone by then. Right. I think it's Jameer Gibbs. Sure, sure. Um, I like Gibbs, but I, I just don't think running back is that much of a you know that 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 much of an emergency to where I right, Bijan I got to get the next one next to Bijan like the Texas A and M kid, the Auburn kid. Uh, I ain't really I ain't really big on like Sharpay from UCLA. Um. The uh two lane kid, Tajay Spears, like bro, like it's dudes, is 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 dudes in his class. The uh UAB kid is dudes in his class. You know what I'm saying? So I think if you, yeah. I think you know, it will be lucky to get Bijan at 26 if he's there. But if he's not there, I'm fine with taking a running back in the fourth and just pairing him with Tony. Oh, so many good running backs. This is ridiculous. There's plenty of them. There's plenty. You're of them. not wrong about that. Um, 
Have you, quick question, have you seen, um, what's his name, the Chattanooga kid, um, mm-hmm. tackle guard? Nope. I haven't seen nobody from Clinton. Nope. Nobody from Chattanooga. Nope. Mm-mm. Can I just tell you that? I ain't even got that film, Washington. Chattanooga. I've heard, I've heard his name brought up a few times. I know his name, sure, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, uh, I think, but go ahead. I think he could be one of the best sleepers in this draft class. What's the best sleeper? That's always confusing. What's a, what's a, what's a best sleeper? Like a Deron Bland. Somebody who comes out of nowhere. Nobody's really given him that much conversation mm. and he could pop off, come into the NFL and actually play right away. Mm. I think he's got that talent. Oh, okay. I got for you, I appreciate it, Jerry. Yeah. Good call. Good call. I'll uh take a look at Chattanooga. I haven't and I haven't seen him, but I heard him. But uh yeah, McClendon Curtis. Who? I believe he's he's referring to McClendon Curtis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Two first names. <clears throat> Big dude. About six five, <laughs> six six, three twenty. Two first <laughs> last name is my first name. First name is my last name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard of. I haven't watched them though, but it's still. I can't keep saying it that is that is March because we run out of time for real. Like it, like we got like thirty days, but we're yeah, gonna, we're, he's the, it's about the third time I've heard. I've uh, also heard when people were looking up Cole Strange last year, mm-hmm. this guy kept popping up on the film. Hey man, I watched one person at a time, man. Uh, I was gonna say something. Who was it? Was something in the chat? What, what, what was in the chat? Uh, I don't hear nothing in the chat. All right, cool. Let's move on. Uh, now, 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 your ass know I ain't watched Bryce Ford Whedon <laughs> from West Virginia. It's too early. It's too early. Uh, da, da, da. Big A. Let's get Big A up here. What's up, Big A? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, player? What yeah, you yo. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I just wanted to. Uh, I want to know. The, I want to know the school. I, I got a couple. I got a couple. Couple comments. I want to keep. I'm going to try to keep them as quick as possible. Please. Go ahead. Uh, first. Well, Turn your house down. Was, the first one I had was. Turn down oh, your house. Yeah. Oh, I'm in my house. Right, but turn it down a little bit. We can hear it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for that. Is that better? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, first, uh, first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to bring a comment up from, uh, this was what I was going to say on Thursday before the phone, before the phones crashed. So I, so I didn't get a chance to get in, mm-hmm. but, uh, I don't know why, but I came across a clip from one of the morning, one of them, one of them, you know, early football morning shows. Sure. And they were trying to talk about, uh, they were trying to talk about who are the top five NFC quarterbacks that if Rogers is, more or less going to be going, yep. <laughs> leaving the conference. Yep. And of these four, of these four people who were on this panel, the only two of them had Prescott in the top five. Yep. Oh boy. And go. of the two of them, only the football guy in McCordy, I forget his name, McCordy, he yep. was the one who uh, had him at like four. Yep. <clears throat> it was. I thought it was, I don't know. To me, I thought, to me, I thought the list was interesting because it was like, uh, to me, I thought the list was interesting because it was like, they, everyone believed, everyone universally was believing like Stafford, Gino, uh, Derek Carr, Cousins, and uh, Goff, and Hurts were better than Prescott. And it was weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch the morning shows, man. You know, and um, I just, you know. My. Yeah, unless it's Will Steele. But I don't, I don't, I don't get men from the network morning shows. Believe me. Oh, believe me. I know. I don't I kinda don't either. It just one of them clips that just came across and I was yeah. like, what the hell are they doing? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. What else you got? But yeah, but anyway, uh, but anyway, yeah, um, I have one just one more point I have real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, yeah, for sure. I feel like we're I feel like we're underselling I feel like we're underselling the Giants at twenty five right now. I think the Giants are gonna break our hearts. And draft a receiver? Well, any position, really. Like, because if you look at the Giants' needs, a lot of their needs are similar to us. They yeah. can get another offensive lineman. They can get another. They can get a wide receiver. They can get. They can get Dijon Robinson if he falls that far. They can get a corner. I think if the end. It, if you if you like if you like Drew Sanders, they can take a linebacker there. Yeah. Um. 
I mean, I so so yeah, I mean, they're in front of us and they can take anybody, but I'm only really looking at the Giants and Minnesota uh, for taking one of the wide receivers that we like. Uh, if you tune in Thursday, we we uh, do a lot of mock draft shows and we talk about uh, the handful of teams in, in front of us that can take wide receiver from us. And I want Quentin Johnston or Jackson and Jigba, so if there's any, you know, any team that can keep us from getting them, it'll be them guys. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, anyway, that was that was for the most part basically it. I'll I'll see y'all. I'll, I'll tune in tomorrow and see you guys again. Hell yeah, we love you to pieces, man. Look, Big A, no matter what happens, bro, no matter what they say in the comment section, we love you to pieces, man. Thanks for calling in. All right. Okay. No, no, big A. No, we we for real, big A. We 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 love you to pieces, man. No, no, look, 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 big A for real, for real. We love you to pieces, man. We I just care nothing about NFL Network and their opinion. I just I just care nothing about them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can only look at somebody's opinion long enough and like see the direction that they're going. And if they start saying like, "Oh, Geno Smith a better quarterback than Dak Prescott," or Kyler Murray better quarterback than Dak. Oh, this play, you know what I mean? If they say things like, oh, playoff games matter, but they still put Justin Herbert up there, like, it's just certain things that that you show me. Yeah, I'm over you know what I mean? Right that, that makes me not want to continue to listen to you. So, when I saw that clip, I mean, or just when I saw the four pitches of the people that was, you know, not giving Dak the love that he deserves, whatever, I, I mean, I didn't get upset about it. I didn't get upset about it. I didn't even mention it on here. I just moved on. Yeah, I, I don't even, I don't even breathe life into that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on though. Let's get MJ on the phone. <laughs> Let me get this whistle song back up. What's up, MJ? Hey, what's up, Cal? How y'all doing, man? Hold the time out, MJ. We're gonna put you right back on pause. Go ahead, sir. It ain't Cowboys. I mean, kinda, I guess. But okay. it, it ain't assigning to the Cowboys. Okay. But uh Dalton Schultz per Tom okay. Palacero signing a one year deal with the Texans. How much? Up. Worth up to nine million, so it's probably almost likely identical to just Jacecki, who also got a one year deal up to nine million, likely four million with incentives, et cetera, et cetera. So there it is, Dalton Schultz heading to Houston. How hilarious to get Noah Brown and Dalton Schultz, Cowboys of the South. Go ahead, Z. Go ahead, go ahead, and go ahead and sign with the Texans. So what? He can be the third best back there. Put that chart up, Will. Still, of, of all the people in the negative, send all the negative people to the tech. I'm just kidding. He'd be the second best back in Houston. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You, you ain't lying. My bad, MJ. Hey, huh? Hey, that's good though. I think Zeke will be next to sign that. <laughs> Fine. Hey, shout out to him. Hey, but right. Hey, can I tell y'all something? Please. You know what happened still in Vox? Mm. It's a trend. Y'all ain't caught that trend? No, sir. Okay, this is the trend. Oh, I would love to hear this trend. It's like Vox. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you ten million dollars. I'm gonna put you on that. You, uh, give me 10 you know, when they, when they put you, like they did Pollard I ain't gonna and they lie did Schultz. Yeah. So they expect you, just like they did Zeke. The Cowboys, when they do that, they want to give you a deal so you can be with them. But if you come back to them, especially with Cowboy, and you disrespect Cowboy in that meeting, like you the man. He ain't, excuse my French, he ain't fucking with you no more. It's done. <laughs> and that's what happened to Zeke. Because Zeke, no, he ain't getting no $8 million, $9 million deal. Zeke finna miss out. I'm telling you, Zeke finna miss out on the Super Bowl. Because they told Zeke, yo, man, give us a deal. We pay you $50 million. You made $50 million, brother. You're going to be the last half back to pay that. But Zeke, shit it on. And I'm after Zeke, the they say, no. All right, we ain't messing with Zeke no more. <laughs> So that's what happened to those shows too. But hey, Vox, I like your idea with the tackle. But yeah. what you think about? Because you know, our center need leave next year. What about the Minnesota center? Because he can play guard and center. I love him. I love him. John Michael Smith. Put him at left guard, and when he's done playing left guard, if you don't want to sign back to Alabiatis, put up uh, a uh, Blattish. Put him at center. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze. I love don't that. that hmm? Don't you think that might help me, Vox? Look, because. If they do that, and then, like you say, still let somebody come up, take the twenty-six pick. We do, we go back to the thirty pick and get another extra pick in the third round yeah. or fourth round. You see what I'm saying? If yeah. we take him, then we take the big D tackle, 
And then we think my favorite halfback, one of them, right. the guy from uh, TCU, Kendra Miller. Miller. He's uh -huh. 220, right. fast, or you take any other back. Right. And then you just, you just build out your roster mm. from there. But uh, <clears throat> you think they'll, you think they're going to sign back Hankins? I hope so. hope so. <clears throat> I think that's going to be the next. And I and one more watch. Yeah, okay. I talked to Steel earlier. What you, Steel, what's that guy's name? Because you said his name better than me. You say his name. Boss laugh at me. You say his name. The what's big, what's the, uh, the, the, what's the, the name? DN from uh from 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 Indiana. What? From Indiana. The defense end, number ninety one. Is he from Indiana or Jacksonville? That's oh, what? Yannick and oh, 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 Let him say it. What? Oh, okay, yeah, I got oh, you. Bad. I got you, Marv. Go ahead. Go. I got you. I ain't you. saying it. Watch, I ain't saying it. Yannick and Gakwe. Everybody laugh. Yannick and Gakwe. Yeah. We're not laughing at you. We, we just, uh, we're we just with laughing you. At, we laughing at the name is what we laughing at. You a legend, man. You a legend. Conor McGregor is legendary, but, but go ahead. Hey, what about that, Vice? What you think? Gladys. Um, I think Yannick going to make too much money. And Yannick uh -huh. not going to, and you know, Yannick not going to be a dollar me you got. I think after we've traded the lit, you know, you know, day three picks or whatever, we've put money into Brandon Cooks and Gilmore. So I think all the rest of the guys for the rest of the way gonna be dollar menu guys. And I don't think Yannick gonna sign for us for you know dollar menu prices. Yeah, okay, I feel you. So my last thought, I just want to make that let's look, let's make that offensive line a beast and let's make that middle of that defense just the middle. If we get that middle right, we're on our way. Yep. That's all I gotta say, bro. Love it, man. Love it. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Thank you, brother. Oh shit! Don't be cracking jokes at me, Vach. I be damn. I be damn. <laughs> <laughs> As he says that, I was about to crack one, but go ahead. Yeah, it was all the way, man. It was all the way. Hold up, bro. Zach Ghostin. Hold on, man. Zach Ghostin didn't hit us up. Didn't hit us up in the off season. This don't happen. Let me get Zach. Let me get Zach. Who? Zach Ghostin. He uh taps in during the. During the streams, Will. Thanks, oh, I got you. I got you, got you, Will. Still, uh, let's see. Where is drop at? Zach Golson just dropped three hundred in the, in the uh, PayPal. Ooh. There, bodies can take care of y'all chicken. Oh, good wow. Wow. oh, that guy. I remember him. I mean, yeah, yeah, Zach. I love Zach Ghost. I love Zach Ghost. <laughs> Zach Ghost says, "Uh, y'all, y'all put flames in the chat for Zach Ghost now." Zach Ghost says. Dear Lombardicus Prime, a.k.a. F-150, a.k.a. Petty Vach, a.k.a. Sir Vach, long time no talk. Mm. <laughs> uh, nice to see the Cowboys shucking and jiving this offseason with all these strong oh. moves rather than river dancing into the next season with a wet blanket. Damn. Brace yourself for the for the tidal waves of tears because we didn't get D-hot because mothers just can't be happy in life. What up, Skywalker Steel? He said hello. What's what up, Scott Walks? Appreciate you, dog. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. Hey, uh, so, so when Marv says middle of the defense or middle, anytime he says the middle, I, I just middle. assume he he makes a face like this, vibe. middle, right? Yo. And then the lost the translation said the middle of the defense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marv, the way the when you say middle. Boy, you say it with some some gusto, no, boy. No. I tell you, man, you make me. You know what? No, we, we do need to. We do need to solidify the middle of that defense. The middle, the middle, the middle. I love that. Because he do, he do. Don't say like that, Miller. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, man. Name. You know, man. Will still, man. One day I was like, man, dog. I just, I just love some of the people. But I, I would love to meet Marv one day. And boy, I just thought about what a conversation with with Marv would be like in real life. And I was like, Magic oh, no. City, Marv. Honestly, I want to meet Marv and don't want to even talk football with him because, because he apparently he like a promoter at, at a club in in in, uh, in L.A. or something like that. So. I'm gonna have my camera ready, like uh, yeah, yeah. like a uh, Law and Nation. I'm just gonna put that mug on the table. We're just gonna make some content, bro. We're gonna make some content. I'm gonna make you famous. I think they did that with Marv last year, actually. Well, they was at, uh, Law was just trying to do some content, but Marv just stepped in and just, <laughs> <laughs> just Marv just inserted himself into Law's content. And Law just let him rock. That's what happened. Okay. Uh, two more calls, and we're gonna wrap up. Jack, Jack, what's up? Bye. What's good, player? Yeah. You. What's happening, gentlemen? What's happening? Yes, sir. Hey, I got two things in the story. Okay. Real fast. Quickly. So first, 
I'm yeah, first, I'm so glad that we made moves. You know what I'm saying? That that we went and officially got Brandon Cook. Right. Now, we already have uh, a Hopkins type receiver in CD Lamb. Maybe not with the hands, mm-hmm. but everything else, go up, get it, get that. Right. Um, Brandon Cook is CD Lamb with speed. Smaller version. But he's CD Lamb with speed. And that gives back an option. And I need them to stop living. Huh? On on that one bad year, right? I can name you twenty quarterbacks. I can name you twenty quarterbacks that have had a worse year than that, right? But that they they, they hold. They, I think they couldn't wait till that had a bad year, right? For them to say, "Oh, this is who that is." Oh, this. But that got six other years of being successful, but not turning the ball over. Yeah, with touchdown, four thousand yard season, like. Come on, man. When when we gonna do that, man? Right. right. Like for real. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't start the talk. For you. With all due damn disrespect. Mm. There you go. Now here go the story. Right. Watch, get your button ready. Oh shit. I'm going to... I was in the garden. You understand me? Okay. I was in the garden with my lady, and we was picking them flowers, Jeremy. Right. And I saw I saw it come across it's weed. that we had got Brandon Cooks. Right. And I had to apologize to my baby because I, I was I threw my hands up in the air and I smacked her in the pit in them. And I was like, shit, man, I'm out of a fucking We got it. <laughs> and I couldn't wait for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it was awesome. And I said, I feel so good. I'm elated. Uh I exhausted all my energy because after that, you know, you gotta indulge in some adult activity. Right. So you make yourself feel even better. <laughs> Damn it, I love I love us. <laughs> right. Hey, fellas, keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. I love it. And, Scott, you hung up on me early. I know the show was going crazy, but yeah. you hung up on me early. I was like, God damn it, Scott. My, my bad, brother. My bad. I got you tomorrow, fam. Nope. I'm going to call back. I'm going to call back tomorrow morning. Don't I, worry about it. I'm all right, cool. Appreciate it, Jack-Jack. Good call, man. Yes, sir. Now, Will, I understand what, what Jack-Jack's saying. I wasn't in the garden when this happened. But when you see moves like this, man, it, it does give you a different feel, though. You know what I mean? Like, you do feel, you know, different about these moves than, than, than the moves that we've made of previous years. Because, you know, now you go, damn, boy, like, we like we making an attempt. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we trying now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I feel what you're talking about. And that's all I've been asking, man. You know? And if it doesn't work out, I'm not going to be mad that it – I mean, I'll be mad that it didn't work out. But I'm not going to be mad at the front office yeah. that it didn't work out yeah. because they at least attempted – you know, that's that's all I've been at. I ain't, I ain't trying to be greedy. I, yeah, I just wanted y'all to make the attempt to, to do things like this more. Fair enough. We got one more call. Let's see what they're talking about. 208, what's up? Who this? Hey, man, this is Jamal. I just wanted to call y'all, call in because I lost touch with y'all. I kind of had a fall-off moment with my cancer. Oh, no. Um, I hope everything is all right, though. I had to get a, yeah, I had to get a whole new whole new get set up man i lost a lot of things um just i'm just starting over so i just wanted to call in and tap in with you guys um for sure scott walker i was listening to your show this morning man and um you said something about kelvin joseph and godwin or goodwin in comparison on special teams that caught my attention so i took some time to look at that san francisco playoff game the green bay packers game and also took a look at the uh, the game against the Washington Redskins because he did play a little special teams there. Kelvin Joseph, hey, and he's 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 productive, and I feel like if Turpin's spot isn't safe on the team, as Botch said, I don't feel Godwin's position should be safe because I mean he's getting a little long in the tooth as it is anyway. And I do feel like Kelvin Joseph, if you, if you just give him a role on this team. I feel like he's just going to run with it and get better. And that's just my opinion. I, I just feel like this, if they gave fucking Jalen Smith for damn <laughs> years, after fall off, right. you might as well get, you might as well get this kid a, a, a solid role on special mm-hmm. teams. See if he can get it right in his right. head and stay away from the crime scenes right. and go on with his, li- with his, with his life and, mm-hmm. and carry on with football. Right. Um, as far as, uh, what if I told you he does have a role on special teams already? What's that? What if I told you he already has a role on special teams? Yeah. 
if he if, here's my thing is when you earlier when you said that he's I, I said that I, I think Goodwin's the best special team on on the team. Yeah. He and and, and that's why and that's what I'm getting is I feel like yeah. Goodwin are, are kind of neck and neck at that position. And I feel like if if you're gonna give God if you're gonna say God was his position to safe on this team, your argument was Kelvin Joseph's position this morning wasn't safe. <laughs> And I feel like it is if you give him a role on special teams. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, yeah, um, one. yeah, like one, Nick, and he has six penalties on better on special teams. He forced a fumble no, in that uh, playoff game that <laughs> gave us an extra everybody. possession, and that's the possession that Dak overthrew C.D. Lamb across the middle when he had no when C.D. Oh, had no, the safety over the top, and then he had the linebacker uh, Warner running with him. Like, oh, that's oh right the, after that. the play where he dropped the ball. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, my second thing is, is uh, I feel like with the 26th pick, I, I honestly think that they're going to, I don't know. I, I feel like the best thing for them to do is to go linebacker here. Um, and the, my reason being is because Whitlow ain't got it together. And obviously they're flirting with this, with this cat that just was released. I've lost his name, uh, Bobby Wagner. Sure. It was just released. And, I just feel like if you go into the draft and get a young linebacker that does Bobby Wagner type things, mm -hmm. you can develop that guy and get a cheap Bobby Wagner esque type of linebacker on the on the reel for five. That's your fifth year option that sure. Sky was talking about. You know, really valuing earlier. I just feel like that's the best. I feel like that's the best route for them to go. <laughs> like old boy said earlier draft that draft uh um o Torrance if he's a, or what's his name draft a guard in the first round if that's, that's player available right. and then go draft old boy that hurt himself at the combine Gordon and then is. sit on your two guards yeah and that's all i really got for the show and other than to say thank you guys for helping me get through what i've been going through man so like i'm a little emotional a little emotional right now because sure. y'all two cats have kept me kept me going man hey Damn. listen man that's that's heavy keep your head up man Stay positive. Call us whenever you want to call us. I just uh, put you down platinum, Jamal. You know what I'm saying? And uh, keep on fighting, brother. Appreciate keep you, well, man. Keep fighting. Y'all keep it up, too. Much love and respect, brothers. Yes, sir. Let me tell you how fantastic our fans and content is. How, how many shows do you have callers listening, by the way? That's how you know he was listening to this conversation earlier. We can have a discussion about our gunners. Yeah. Real That's life. Right. Good discussion about our gunners. I don't I don't listen to too many other content creators outside Cowboys, so I, I can't speak on it, but damn it. Ain't nobody fucking with us. We'll still want to argue with him and I was like, hey man, stop. Chill out. Hey, but, well that just goes to show you I, I don't discriminate. You don't. Will will argue with a puppy <laughs> with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> Will 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 argue with Listen, a with a with a puppy with a with a with a pencil in his eye. This smoke he, does you not should have been fucking the pencil. Any discrimination, but <laughs> in fairness, I, I feel like I we was, love him though. I was we easy, love him though. You know. Hey man, let me just say this: why we got like fourteen hundred people in here. Appreciate y'all for like hanging around for the whole show. There's a lot of people that you know go in the comment sections or whatever. They're like, "Yo, Vyach, you and Will picking on the callers. Why y'all treat the callers like that? Why you play the whistle song?" For the call is like that. Why you do the, you know what I'm saying? Like we let y'all roast us all the time. I roast but, my damn self half the time. But I feel like that because we have a rapport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all call Will all all kind of names. Y'all call Vach all kind of names, but we love y'all. So when y'all get on this phone talking some shit, <laughs> and I play the whistle song, or we'll call you out on your knowledge. We don't hate you. We only saying this because we love you. Cause if we hate you, we'll just let you talk and get y'all the phone real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just always seeing that. Will, I'm, I'm, I'm just constantly seeing that. Hey, man, why yeah. you do, why you do the people that call into the phone? But what you don't know is that they platinum people that have called five, six, seven, eight times, and they know how we get down. They watch the show every day. They know how we get down. This is the environment that we've created, and they step into it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. everybody it's, can get it, man. It's all love, and and, I, and somebody said, "Who's saying that?" Just go read the comments after. Uh, an epic conversation on the phone. Just go read the comments, man. People, people definitely don't like it, but we ain't gonna change.
Man, one day, man, somebody said I keep Kool Aid in my water bottle. Dog. I was, I was, I was, I was befuddled. <laughs> I was like, "What?" I don't, not, not, I'm gonna have to talk to Twan off air. Right? There's, there, there's no way we're not rolling with that. What Twan? Let me, let me go see Twan. Petty. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> nah, Twan. We, nah, nah, Twan. Can't call us that. No, 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 no. <laughs> call us something else. Don't call us that. <laughs> what is this? Atlanta, Housewives of Atlanta. All right, I'm moving on. Uh, da, 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 brothers, All right, let's do it. Let's get into the super chat. See what y'all talking about. Turn this up a little bit. I'll come over here on the volume side. Today's the 20th. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Is the song gonna repeat? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. It's gonna be a dumb. Hell yeah. All right. So. Today's the 20th. Guillotine 06, two drops. He dropped a five, then he dropped a deuce. On the five, he says, with the moves made so far, would you go aggressive in the draft? Darnell Washington in the first. Booty in the end of the second. No. Uh, or would you go long-term? Guard, tackle, linebacker. I think I, I literally think you let the boy fall to you. Um, the Cowboys have, you know, they do the same thing for the for the past. Okay, hey, look, can we stop saying saying taco name, bro? Can we stop saying taco name, bro? That yeah. was years ago, man. Get over yourself. Can't, the Cowboys, can't about a hundred. Yeah, yeah. A thousand, my bad. The Cowboys are gonna take the best player possible. The best player they can get. If that's a linebacker, it is what it is. If it's a linebacker, if it's a guard, if it's a uh an old tackle, I don't know if it's D tackle, whatever, but within reason, they're gonna take the best player on the board. And then with the rest of the picks, they're going to go, all right, well, who's the best player that we need right now left over? That's how it's going to be. So, boy, I, that would have been Nolan Smith for me, was, uh, but he didn't, he didn't ran faster than Jalen Hyde, his ass, in, in, into the top 15 somewhere. So I'm over that dream. But um, wide receiver, corner, linebacker, offensive tackle, guard, whatever that may be, edge rush, if y'all like Will McDonald like that. I wouldn't like it, but say safety if you like Brian Branch like that. You know, you the, the board is wide open to you because uh you fix cornerback two and, and uh wide receiver two. So good question. And uh, guillotine 06 drop the deuce says our comp picks looking like crap next year. Like it. <laughs> like we won the Super Bowl, we don't care nothing about no comp picks, but we win the bowl. We ain't gonna care a thing about them comp picks, man. We appreciate you though, man. Salute. Uh, and Sleazy says, thank you, Vash. Thank you, Sky. That is it. Keep going. Appreciate you, sir. Drop your five in there. Swear to God. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Hey, that's fact. Uh, Listening, that's when, that, when the call was talking about that, I, I, I was thinking back to something that I usually say on my show that I don't think y'all have any idea what y'all are to us in that regards. You know, you know, Law says sometimes this is our therapy. Real rap. And, and I can attest and y'all can attest to it if you listen to Law's show. That's mm-hmm. real. You know, we go through a lot, too. And then we come on here, rap to y'all. y'all listen, man, the mornings, y'all truly do bright my day up sometimes because, you know, mm. we all go through stuff. So so I truly, when I say I appreciate you, I'm not just saying that. That's real shit. Because I tell you what, man, I remember the days working at Pizza Hut, smell like dirty dishwater, or working in a psych ward, wrestling people because somebody need a shot. You know what I'm saying? I remember them days, bro. I ain't going back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The volume, the volume does well, but the volume can only exist when y'all show up on these days and we have, you know, 14, 1500 people and y'all liking the stream and y'all, you know, or when Colin Cowherd say something crazy about <laughs> that, y'all tag my name in it. Like he, they see all that shit. What's we get, get him back on here, by the way. Colin Cowherd? Yeah. yeah. For the draft? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Period. And just in general, huh? Yeah. yeah. I would love for him to come on see, to, the, to, the, to the show. See, I, I told Logan... I can say this publicly. If the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, they got to fly us out to California and we're going to do an in-person interview with Colin Cowherd and make him apologize for all the shit he said about the Cowboys. And that's content right Sir, there. Sir, if that... That's content right just there. Just make it to the Super Bowl. We're, we're, we're going to be on Radio Row. That's content we're in right the game. There. We ain't going to be able to stream the next day because I ain't going to be able to, to be up, but that's cool. It's content right there. <laughs> King Elliman says, Vash was putting extra pepperoni in the motherfucking pizzas. <sighs> If I block your ass, then what you gonna do? Then what you gonna do, sir? But I'm not gonna block him because hey, it made me giggle. It made me giggle. 
Uh, da, 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 da. What was about to do? Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat on the watch side. So I'm ringing on my phone. I'll look at it later. All right, here we go. Today's the. Well, y'all got busy on this side. Michael Garrett dropped five and says, Great content, gentlemen. What are your thoughts on Chuma Adoga Otaku visiting today? Um, Formerly of USC, uh, he was a big dude. He was an athletic dude, but he didn't know how to play offensive line. So I'm not a fan of dudes that just don't know how to play offensive line. Um, I'm just a, I'm just a lot more picky and, and critical of my guys. Now, if there's any organization that have taken raw players and fixed them over the past couple of years, it's been this one. But good on that. Appreciate you, though. I, I'm more interested in uh, Ronald Jones, Rojo. Ronald Jones, uh, his best, his hard best. nose downhill runner that got some spring and he pissed off. That's another thing I like. You know, we we can't, we're getting a pissed off Brandon Cooks, mm-hmm. we're getting a guy in uh, Stephon Gilmore who's like, oh what, y'all think I'm done? Okay, cool, mm-hmm. I got something to prove here. Mm-hmm. They just, they just, they just tired of their old ass team. Go, go call somebody from Carolina, see if we can get them. Uh, William Hatcher dropped a five. He just wanted to show some love. Appreciate you, man. Chris Ortiz dropped five. Says, "Hey, about you." Um, he been there. Why, why, why I read like that? Uh, CD going to be CD going to be going crazy behind. Okay, so I need commas. CD going to be going crazy. Draft Bijan, and he going to set up those blocks for the O line. He's going to set up those blocks for the O line. Draft O line in the second. Sure. Draft Bijan the first and O line the second. Love it. Uh, if he's there, but I don't think he's gonna be there. Jimmy Harney dropped a deuce. Just wanted to show some love. Appreciate you, Kenny Lott. Who would love for us to just throw the ball every single play? He he <laughs> yeah. he ain't he ain't wavered on that yet. He dropped a diamond. Says looking forward to our passing offense being top ten, maybe as high as top five. Dak under oh, McCarthy, Lord. five thousand passing yards while also <laughs> setting a passing touchdown record while winning fourteen fifteen. Yo, the reason why it's funny because he's been saying that shit for three years. One day, we, one day he gonna be right. He gonna be like, "Yo, I told you." What I say? What I say? <laughs> He wears the foot, ain't he? He wears the oh, foot. Man. Jimmy Harney drop five and says, "No matter who, no, no, no matter who we get, it's, it's, it, it still comes down to how Dak plays. Quarterback is essential to win the Super Bowl." I've seen some not good, some not good quarterbacks go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, I, look, you, you ain't saying nothing that most people don't believe that the quarterback matters in the playoffs for sure. But you go look at a couple of these runs over the last couple of years. Other aspects of the game had to step up when the Q was wasn't at the top of his game in certain in, in certain points in the playoffs. That just that was lights out first game, second game not so much. It happens when, when you know Joe Burrow went to the playoffs had three three or went to the Super Bowl had three interceptions in a game. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, that should get credit for maintaining this offense without Cooper. Like you just gave Dak Jalen Tobit offsides, hurt Gallup. And Noah Brown and said, "I right, Dak, be good. And, and he was just as, as good as he was last yeah, year, I mean, if anything. You just watched the Eagles go to the Super Bowl when their quarterback threw for like 125 yards twice. Oh, come on, man. Jalen Hurts ain't that. Yeah. I ain't gonna say yeah. So, and look, if, if the team is going to be solely dependent on them, then, Ed yeah, Dak, you cannot be off your game. You know? mm-hmm. But uh, usually when you got to play, you got to win three or four games in the postseason, yep. you're going to need everybody. But they're gonna make that new rule where you where you can't push them in the back no more in the end zone. So that's gonna be you. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be you. Uh appreciate you though. Dro dropped the deuce and says this confirms the pick is Ken K at 26. It don't. Until Brian brought his lean close to that microphone to say, Hey, uh, y'all, y'all might want to be uh <laughs> uh looking at tight ends, bro. It it ain't it ain't it ain't official. <laughs> well, no. Greg Star drop five and says, now that you address two big needs. Do you think they should consider moving up or staying put and draft a, diff- a difference maker at, at DT? Stay put. Stay put. We just do better when we stay put. Solid Doug dropped a dub and says, appreciate you, sir. Dropped a dub and says, don't lose faith, Vice Nola Smith. We'll make it to Dallas. Hey, th- this feels like this is your CD lamb. This ain't my CD lamb pick. Oh, it's not? <laughs> this ain't 20? Okay. All right. Is there a CD lamb of this year or no? Man, it's for I can you, see, for you, for you. So it's not about the best player falling. It's I can see trends in the league. 
I can see Team Sucker drafting, and I can see CeeDee Lamb's traits that'll make him fall. Oh, no, to no, where, no, no, no. where he fell at. So, so I, what I'm saying is, yeah. I just think Nolan Smith is, is too good. Nolan Smith is my favorite player in this draft so far, but I think he's too good. If anybody can make a realistic CeeDee Lamb type fall, it could be Jackson and Jigba. Yeah, you know no, I don't mean that. I mean, CeeDee okay. Lamb was your guy. Right, like oh, when, when he was, he humped the chair when he got drafted. Like, who's your who's your chair hump? Oh, if Nolan Smith, That's what I'm it's over with. <laughs> on the if if, if Colin Cowherd is on the stream with me, it's over with. I'm embarrassing Colin. Colin gonna so leave. the chair humping pick is Nolan Smith. Colin ain't gonna be there for the 27 pick because he gonna look at me and leave. You are gonna accidentally gonna, lose service to to Colin Cowherd. They gonna fire me that day. <laughs> Well, fire me that day. We found a way to get Nolan Smith. They firing me. They go, <laughs> Kyle and Kyle are going to go, Bumley? <laughs> I ain't going to hit the button. Off with his head. <laughs> I ain't going to hit the button. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, Vach. Get me up out of here. Appreciate you, Duck. I don't see it, though. King Woods reacts, dropped a deuce, and says, uh, keep up the great work, my guys. Salute. Sports Guru Drive 5 says, uh, please keep roasting us callers. It's very entertaining and separates you from other shows. Boy. Mm. Have... Appreciate you, sir. I do like to think Jimmy we're, o- we're a different show. I do like to think we, that. We're a different brand of show. Bro. It is what it is. And that's that's going to be the thing that takes us over the top. Goddamn, Jimmy O Drive 5 says, Gilmore, Gilmore slash Cooks is more than what we needed. BPA draft for me. Give me Mozzie in the second. He'll be there. Uh, he could be. I mean, be there. Give me Mozzie in the second, wide receiver, running back in the first, linebacker in the third. After everything, after I don't care. We good. Shouts out to Vash and Steel. Appreciate you, Jimmy. Salute. Shout out to uh, I saw Twan <clears throat> talk about how we make his trucking life easier. Shout out to the truckers, man. I, I, I always probably. forget how many of you that that listen to us, and I know listening to sports radio how fast that can make your day go. So, so yeah. I get it. Yeah. Y'all been needing shit to listen to, man. Y'all been needing shit to listen to. Uh Lil Sweet Drive Five says sign Ronald Jones, draft Robinson or Gibbs. Love y'all show. Appreciate you, Lil Sweet. Salute. Uh and last one, Will Hatch is dropped. What? Huh? His name is what? Man. <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. He ain't had no name. Uh appreciate it. just a, uh just an anonymous super chat. Lil Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Will has to drop the uh, a deuce commercial. Man. Will has dropped a deuce the super chat. It says trade up for a defensive tackle, Jalen Carter. I would love it at the end of the day. I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see. But if if you just somehow end up with if you just genie your way into Jalen Carter, then you know it is what it is. <sighs> appreciate it. Appreciate everybody. Salute to y'all. Salute to y'all. Appreciate. It. Appreciate. It. Anything else? Anything else? Hey, there's Alex the Eagles fan. I ain't seen him in a minute. Anything else? Y'all good? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare the royal baggage. <laughs> Open the gates. Wipe us. Wipe. Anyone who throws flowers at Will Steele's feet will answer to me. Shouts out to Josh Rand to drop the deuce in the super chat and says Schultz gone. Oh, hell no. For- yeah, we know. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, super chat. Marcus Hardison says, at the volume, that's that's me and Will still today. At the volume, when you're purpose driven, you develop riches. When you're pleasure driven, you develop addictions. Mm. Come on, Will Steel. Come on, Will Steel. Come on, man. Come on, man. When you're purpose driven, you develop riches. When you're pleasure driven, you develop addictions. Damn. I be damn. Which one are you? Hold this L. Lion sleep outside UNLV. Hey, Marcus Harris, we love you, man. That was a good one, sir. Yeah, that's a good one, sir. We're gonna wait two seconds for the lit turn up. Let that beat you know drop. What I'm saying? For the lit turn up, boy, I bet they was going crazy in the club. 
I bet they I bet they was going crazy in the club when this came out, boy. All the shillings was in the air, boy. They was <laughs> what did they call it back then? They call it a, probably a ball instead of the club. They they went to a ball. They yeah. went to a ball. Went to a little soiree, a little something like that. I don't know how old that is. Though. I think yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's like sixteen hundreds old. That might just be like eighteen hundreds old. Yeah, we'll see. Um, they had harps and shit back then, but I don't know. You know. Anyway, uh, Jimmy O says, uh, <laughs> "Tis sweet." Oh, is that his name? <laughs> nah, his name was this man. Uh, <laughs> D Prince looking like appreciate you, Jimmy O. And somebody has something else. The last one for the day. Last one for the day. That's all we got. Hey, appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all to pieces. Fun show. Yeah. A lot of y'all was here. A lot of y'all stayed here. That's amazing. We love y'all to pieces for that. We appreciate y'all. We thank y'all for that. Let me give y'all a Don DeMarco for that. Hey, Marco. Still 1300 deep. Still 1300 deep. Yep. Blood at the pieces. Uh, can't do it without you, man. So, hey, I know. Hey, look, hey, Vice, as long as y'all talking about Brandon Cooks and Stephen Gilmore, we'll be back. Hey, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're going to find a way to say Brandon Cooks and Stephon Gilmore <laughs> name, dogs. So y'all don't go nowhere. Uh, be sure to hit the like button on the way out, please, and all of the volumes pages. Show some love over there. We need all that. Follow my pages, uh, my Twitter, V O C H L O N B A R D I. Uh, follow me on. Twitch at twitch.tv slash Vash Lombardi. It's my non-football platform. And patreon.com slash Vash Lombardi. We're watching film today. We're going to watch uh, Tommy Long name from Northwestern, uh, Keanu Benton. And I think we're going to revisit Mozzie Smith. So we're going to be looking at those guys on the uh, Patreon today. After I eat or whatever, I got to go cook this, uh, this uh, you know what I'm saying, porterhouse steak I was, I've been waiting on. Hey, Vash, what's, what's happening Friday? Oh, shit. Uh... Uh, round table uh, Friday. My bad. My bad. Thank you, Will Steele. The return of the round table. Uh, Vach, Will Steele, Koye Media, Foots the King, and Lawrence Nation will be coming together uh, to talk all these cowboy topics, man, all the offseason. Even on Friday, we're going to talk about Don't Stephon go, Gilmore <laughs> and got uh, uh, Brandon Cooks, man. So I got a lot. I got a lot of bones to pick. Uh, me and me and Koya may have a Zeke fight. Me and Foot's gonna have an Osiris Torrance fight. Me and Law. Law didn't really like the uh, Brandon Cook signing, so I'm gonna just instigate everything. Yeah, it's probably it's probably gonna be some fights. Appreciate right. Jimmy Yo for another deuce uh, in the uh, super chat there. So it's gonna be a lot of fights for us. And uh, follow my point guard, the best in the business, Will Steele at Skywalker Steel S T E E L E on Twitter and eight to Z Dallas on YouTube in the morning, eight thirty to ten o'clock. Love you, man. Love y'all. Y'all hold down for the Doski Wolves, the Peace Kiwiski. Until next time. Dom the Marco. No. Not this time. Stop the cow. Not this time. Not this time. Volume. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Cancel me!